Hey, what's up guys? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids out on a rainy New Hampshire day, but I got some shelter here as I'm shooting this video. And today we're gonna talk about this right here, which is the Razor Light EDC. Razor Light EDC, take a look at that. So this came to us from Outdoor Edge, and I've been checking out some of their other, other products. Uh, the Brush Demon, I just finished a review on. I'm using their knife called the Leduck, and I'll, actually my buddy uh, Blaze is gonna be working on a video of one of their Saberback Bowie or Bowie knives. And uh, this one I was really intrigued in because basically what you have here is a razor blade in a knife form. So they have two different versions of this. There's a uh, lower end version that has comes with three extra razor blades. This is really built for EDC. This is the slightly higher end version. Comes with six blades uh, in addition to obviously the handle and how, basically how the knife holds it. Uh, the concept behind it, you know, it, originally when you think of something this sharp is for skinning or doing game preparation when you're out in the field or uh, processing your game, I should say. But um, EDC, can you use this type of knife for an everyday carry knife? I'll tell you what, so far I have cut open boxes, I've cut a bunch of things, just an everyday carry type use, and it's great. The question is, how effective, effectively is gonna be um, used if you have to cut something that's more aggressive, because that is a very thin blade. So we're gonna dig into that, we're gonna test it out on some cardboard, some plastic, and even try to make a feather stick with it to see if the blade can hold up to that. So Razor Light EDC, cool item. We're gonna give you some specs and then put it through the paces. Here's a quick rundown on your specs. End to end length, eight inches. Your blade length, 3.5 inches. Your steel for both the stainless steel uh, blade and also the blade holder is 420J2 stainless steel. That's a Japanese stainless steel. And your blade is 0.6 millimeters thick. The handle is made of grivery and it has those nice rubberized TPE inserts and your weight is 2.8 ounces. All right, so let's just give you a quick rundown of how this works. Back lock, so press that down. That's how you shut it, open it up. We do have a pocket clip here, and you can see it's kind of inlaid, it basically built into the handle, which I think is actually kind of cool. Let me just get a little bit more light on that, so you can see what that looks like. It is not reversible. You can actually remove it if you want. There's those three small screws. You could take that out. It does have a lanyard hole. You can get it in a couple different colors. This is kind of the bluish green. You can get it in a bright blue, and you can also get it in an orange as well. So thumb studs to actually deploy the blade. Um, it is cool that you have the this kind of rubberized texture here and then a little space and then more rubberized texture there as well. All right, so when it's deployed, you use it like a knife, basically pretty simple. But when you wanna swap out the blade, you have this little button here. So press that button in and then this comes out. So basically you have this metal structure that supports the blade and then when you wanna put a new one in, it's a little bit hard to do at this angle, but you line it up and then you're gonna click it into place. And once it's clicked in, you can feel that it's pretty well locked in there. There is a tiny bit of movement, you can probably hear it. But I mean, not, not a ton at all. So that's how it works, a little bit of jimping there on the back, um, compact. One thing I was saying to some friends is you wanna be really careful if you're carrying this as an EDC knife. Because maybe with another knife, you're you're not as careful as you should be and you know you accidentally poke yourself with it or you know bump your hand with the blade and you're like oh good thing I didn't get cut this thing is a razor blade so it is very sharp so any you know mild nicks that you might have gotten with another knife this thing is definitely going to cut you you're going to bleed so be very very careful as you're actually handling handling the knife and using it as an EDC item all right let's start cutting through some stuff and see how it works start off with some basic cardboard here so no problem with that now the challenge with a knife like this is because it is so thin, you know, you can do some really good slicing, but is it gonna be sturdy enough to do some more aggressive work? As you would expect, cardboard's not really an issue for this knife. And I will say the blade is thin, but it does get thicker on the back here because you know this structure is supporting the blade. So it's it's thin as you start the slice, and then basically the knife gets a little bit thicker. So because of that, I do find a little bit more um drag so because you know basically your edge let me drop this for a second your edge is going like this so thin and then gets wider but that's really thin and then i mean it's razor razor edge thin to something that's you know probably the thickness of a lot of edc knives so not a ton of drag but more than i think some other knives but still because it's a razor blade this thing makes really quick work of this stuff once you get in and it's a nice clean cut as well have a uh, plastic water bottle here from, for some seltzer. So we pierce in and then cut. So again, so the, the tip, when you get that tip in, it's good. Then it widens out quickly. So just be aware of that. So pierce in. And then cutting. 
just want to be careful. I don't want to hack my hand apart here with a razor blade. There's another, we'll pierce in here and cut again. Okay, never done this before, but let's uh, let's try doing a little work on some wood here. Now, probably, as you would imagine, some of these thinner slices, it's gonna, or some of these thin pieces we want to get, it's gonna be great at because it's so such a fine edge. The real question is, it, is it gonna hold up? Definitely not doing any chopping with anything like this. Let's flip it to this side here. So we could do some of that, that fine work. This wood is a little bit wet. Let me try actually you know, slicing some pieces off here and see what it does to the blade. It's pretty impressive so far. I mean, considering again how lightweight it is that I could hold up to this wood. So I do wanna show you this here. You can see when I was slicing the wood, some of it got up underneath. Here's your blade and here's basically the support and it got up underneath there. So it's not the end of the world. And as you saw, I mean, it definitely sliced through that wood pretty effectively. Um, not just the feather sticking, but even some more, you know, if I was kind of doing some uh, some whittling. Now, is this my first choice for, you know, getting out in the woods and doing a bunch of woodworking? Definitely not. But if you were EDCing this knife and then had to do some of that more aggressive work, it looks like it, I mean, that, that blade didn't show any signs of breaking or anything. And yeah, so just be aware of this though, this as far as the, uh, you know, the wood getting underneath that might actually happen for you as well. And just to show you real quick what I did to get the wood out was press the button, popped it out, kind of tapped it out, and then uh, slide this back in, see if I can actually do it on camera. It's hard to see through the camera, but anyhow, yeah, so I just put it back in like that, and now as you can see all that wood that was caught up there, totally gone. Here's a quick shot of some more carnage from the Razor Light EDC. Um, I just think it's kind of boring for you to watch me slice a million things on camera. So I just did it off camera and here's what we did. So we worked on the wood more, we worked on the plastic more, we worked on the cardboard more. Now is the blade getting dull? It's still cutting relatively effectively. I wouldn't swap it out yet. I'd probably use it a little bit more, but uh, putting it through some pretty aggressive work here just, you know, today, but I've been EDCing it for a while as well. And uh, yeah, that blade has held up quite nicely. One thing I do want to show you is that this uh, support, basically that the... Um, razor blade slides into is very sturdy so I mean there's not a whole lot of flex there whatsoever when you're actually pushing on it and I'm pushing quite effectively so we're not getting any and I'm pushing on the tip here now so it's really actually just cutting into the wood more than anything but we're not getting it's not like it's bending and it's gonna snap really easily from my experience at least thus far that's a that's quite a strong support system with that metal piece built in there so who am I gonna recommend this knife to? First, let me tell you who I'm not gonna recommend it to is if you are a bushcrafter who's doing a lot of woodworking, this is probably not gonna be the knife for you. It's just not made for that. It's not gonna hold an edge as long as something, you know, like a D2 or a 1095, whatever it is for your bushcrafting knife that you prefer. Uh, who is this for? If you're doing a lot of cutting open boxes, cutting twine, cutting rope, things like that, this could be a good option for you. Rope may be a little bit hard because if it's thick, this is just gonna, it's not a huge blade, it's 3.5 inches, but if you're doing a lot of twine cutting, paracord cutting, cutting open boxes, uh, slicing through cardboard, this could be a really good option. The advantage is it's lightweight and if your blade goes dull and you have the extras around, boom, just swap them out, you're ready to go again with a nice new blade. Uh, if you have your standard EDC knife, it may be stronger overall, but if the blade gets dull, you're gonna have to spend some time sharpening it up and can you do that at the job when you're supposed to be doing work? Whatever, that's something you need to figure out, but um, you know, being able to swap out a blade quickly for a brand new sharp blade is is really a nice option. If you're a hunter or spend a lot of time camping out in the woods and you need a sharp blade to do some tasks around camp, this could be a good option for you. And again, a lot of what Outdoor Edge is geared toward hunters, and in particular when you think about um, you know, having a knife that you could use around camp, but also if you need to process game, 
this could be a nice knife to have on you. Just, you know, throw it in your pocket and now you're ready to go to jump into whatever tasks uh, end up being necessary to carry out while you're in camp. Now, I'd be really interested to hear from you if you have one of these knives or if you've used other products from Outdoor Edge, what do you think? Um, this is my first go around looking at a bunch of their different products and so far, especially for the, um, the budget saving aspect, they're not super expensive. I think you're getting, you know, products that I, I'm quite happy with. I, I really like using the Brush Demon and this has been good for me as an EDC knife as well. So let's hear your comments uh, in the comment section down below. If you want to purchase this item, there are links down below. You can head over to Amazon and by purchasing them through those links, you're going to help support the Everyday Tactical Vids channel. Thanks again to Outdoor Edge for sending this and some other products along for review. More videos coming soon. Take care.